Incredible developing news. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Harry Jenkins, has just stepped down. Let's just have a listen now to how he did it. Today marks my 1,382nd day as Speaker of the House of Representatives. I have at all times tried to uphold the fine traditions of Speaker and to the best of my ability have attempted to carry out the, my duties in the most independent and non-partisan manner possible. As members are aware, in this, the 43rd Parliament, to further avoid controversial party political matters, I have divorced myself from involvement with the Federal Parliamentary Labor Party. In this era of minority government, I have progressively become frustrated at this stricture. My desire is to be able to participate in policy and parliamentary debate, and this would be incompatible with continuing in the role of Speaker. As a consequence, when I vacate the chair at the end of this short statement, I will visit the Governor-General to tender my resignation as Speaker of the House of Representatives. I thank all members for their cooperation, which they have dispensed to varying degrees, depending upon the individual. I thank everyone who works for the Department of House of Representatives under the capable leadership of the Clark Bernard Wright and the Deputy David Elder. They serve us well. My gratitude goes to the diverse range of officers of the Department of Parliamentary Services, from gardeners to guards, technicians and tradies, researchers to reporters Hansard. They serve us well. To Presidents Hogg and Ferguson, with whom I served as co-presiding officer, and the members and officers of the other place with whom I had interaction, I thank them for their forbearance. All these, peoples ensure, all these people ensure that the Australian Parliament remains an enduring, effective institution. My staff in the Speaker's office have assisted me and kept me well grounded. I believe that members would agree with me that they carry out their duties with integrity and professionalism. Finally, I acknowledge my internal indebtedness to my trouble and strife, Michelle, and the four generations of my family without whose support I would never have been able to achieve the high office I hold. Late yesterday, I ascertained that the Governor-General is available for my call before 9.30. Therefore, I must depart. I go placidly with my humour intact. I wish you all well.